Hi guys, it's Dave here. I've noticed a lot of people in the community are talking about the flare token and even with the guide of Wheatsa or Wheatsa, Wheatsa Wind and obviously a few other helps and tips out there, people are still finding it a little bit confusing. And I must admit, 12 hours ago, I was probably in the same boat as you. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it some time and probably give a video or try to give a video and help people to see if we can hopefully get more people claiming these spark tokens as well so bear with me it's one of my first times of doing this be a little bit rusty and again if this actually helps people and you want something like this in the future like just give us a shout i'll try and make head or tail of it so further ado, let's begin so first of all just going to get my ledger device so hopefully get your ledger device connect it in obviously as we've all been doing before i had the problem this morning where actually i realized that my cable was actually a power cable not a data cable so if your pc isn't reading it make sure you have connected it probably with the proper ledger one would help and rather than doing it that way bear with me i'll just put my ledger password in and we will continue so just connected my ledger and right so now we should begin so i'm just going to swap the tab open so i've got vitae's tab open as well so the first point that you guys are going to need to notice is we'll run we'll run through this together so the xrp ledger accounts sorry the, the xrp ledger account holders will need an account private key and account for the flare network private key and account can be generated already to be used in future on the flare network once the account is ready okay that's just a bit of information stuff so obviously we're going to need to make sure we've got our own wallet which is what we've got our ledgers for exchanges probably won't do this i know there are a few exceptions i think BitTrue are one of the ones that are doing it but personally my xrp is going to stay on my ledger so that's basically what it is so number two xrp ledger account holders will prove account ownership by signing reference at the point of their account that will be done through xrp toolkit so what we'll do is we'll be able to put a reference on our account through the xrp toolkit which will be able to connect through on the ledger so once the once the flare network team is ready they'll announce this in advance so basically in here it says check the balance blah blah blah, blah. right so user with a thousand xrp on their account will own the account of the ledger they'll own a thousand spark tokens etc etc so what i'm going to do now i'm going to literally go into the tool which is just here so what you may notice now is that you've got the the websites just opened up in front of me now it's up to you. I trust that you're going to be able to read this and make your own decision because I'm not taking any responsibility, <laughs> neither as we say. So obviously that's what that's down to you at the end of the day. But I'm going to click start over because I've already done this before. So, okay. So I'm going to tick all these. Like I trust that you're going to agree with them anyway. Click on continue. I'm going to I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to use my ledger so i'm going to click continue and now what you'll need to do is you'll need your own ethereum address so what that means is either you can download the ethereum on the ledger wallet and then connect to my ether wallet that way but the app needs to be open or i would create an ethereum address some some other way so with the ex with the exchanges, they will not support they will not support in general the the utility fork that's happening. So I wouldn't use any exchange Ethereum address because you ca can't really guarantee that you're going to get that coin. I mean, might be the exception a bit true, but personally, to be a hundred percent sure, I'd do this. So if you click on my Ether wallet, get access to your current wallet. Now I'm going to do mine through my ledger got nothing on here really anyway so it doesn't really matter click on ethereum click next this is basically the ethereum in my app now i did try and click copy earlier 
So I'm just going to click on one of these addresses because it didn't seem to copy on mine. So I'm going to open up this wallet, agree to that, and then click on that, access wallet. Lovely, I'm in. So now what I'm going to do is highlight that address up here, copy, copy that up there, and then go back into the tool in here and click on skip this step because I've already got an Ethereum address, which is that one that I've copied. Paste in that one in there, like that. Click on next. So what that's going to do, this is now going to give you an XRP toolkit, which is what it's going to tell you to go to the XRP toolkit. And it's required that we paste this string, or in other words, it's a programming language, or this character into our XRP wallet address. So I'm going to open up the toolkit go into the actual xrp toolkit itself and paste this code in my wallet so what i will say now is i notice a lot of people have got stuck at this point because they won't be able to get access to their ledger toolkit in order to do that before i would say on your actual ledger account bear with me a second um, let me just put in my password bear with me Okay, so in here, what you may have is your firmware update in here. So if you see, if you haven't got 1.6.1 on your ledger, then you're going to need to make sure that you have effectively got bits and pieces working on this, on effectively on this device. So that will require an update on this device. And obviously, what you're then going to need to do is, if you are going to back anything up, make sure that your device will work with the keys that you that you put in. So in other words, make sure before you mess around with any of your XRP that you're 100% sure that your 24 character words work. Because <laughs> if they don't, you're, and something goes wrong, like, unfortunately, it's... I don't want to really say it, but game over. So obviously, if you are going to do anything like that, make sure that you find ways of effectively making sure that you've got your access to your wallet. Anyway, putting that aside, obviously, you're going to need to upgrade your firmware on here in order to to do this in order to do this next step, which is what I believe. So, OK, so now what you need to do, you're going to need to click on the XRP toolkit link which is just up here. Sorry, guys, I ain't telling you my wallet address. <laughs> um, right, so you'll load up a main dash page, which obviously has got all my details on, which I don't feel comfortable sharing for obvious reasons. So what you do, if you click on account, click on properties, you will get this lovely page here. Now, what you will need to do is copy this address in here, which is your Ethereum wallet address with the, I think it was OX removed from it, replaced with 02 and 24 zeros. This sorts it out for you anyway. It's virtually foolproof. Paste that in there like that, and then you would click update. What that will do is that will send a request to the ledger, cost you a ridiculous fee of 0.00012 XRP or 12 drops, or whatever you want to call it. And then hit update, that will update the ledger and you will see that you'll be able to claim them tokens when Flare do that utility update. I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to do it. I, I've been wanting the video out myself, but basically if there's anything that I could do, I could have done with a video of this myself. So if, again, if I've helped any of you guys, I really, really appreciate that. So... Like, it means a lot to me. You know, XRP community is like my family. So if I've helped, great. You know, wonderful. Because, I mean, I could have spoke to myself 12 hours in advance now. But, like, all, all is good. So, obviously, if you have got any problems, I'll try and help. But I can't promise anything. So, again, once again, massive thank you to the Flare team for doing this. Beats A for support with, with the support and other bits and pieces as well. So, um, 
massive, massive thank you to all of you guys as well. So I'm only really saying what he's what he's told what he's told me in the message as well. So all I'm doing is just giving a different way for you guys as well. So hopefully enjoy your spark tokens. I'm hoping what happens with with this is if less XRP gets claimed. I'm hoping they share out the 45 billion SPAC tokens, which I'm led to believe. So let's just say that you have that there's a billion XRP claimed. Potentially, one in 40, one XRP could be 45 SPAC tokens. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, that'd be absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. So I don't want, I didn't really want anyone to miss this opportunity. So right on that note, I'm going to wrap up, put this video together, and then. Yeah, jobs are good and drink me tea as always. Over and out.